to be a love reading for Gemini. Happy birthday, Gemini. All right, let's get started, shall we? I have my who, deck with me, my light seers tarot, my rider weight. Um, what deck is this called? The love tarot, I believe it's called. And my angels and oracles deck with me. They're not my deck, like I didn't create them, but um, these are the ones I'm going to be using, so. All right. All right, let's get started, Gemini. If you're new to my channel, all of these readings are timeless, so whenever you find this reading, it's for you. And if you're a past subscriber, welcome back. I'm gonna start with the light series hero. Mm. It is Gemini's birthday month. Gemini is May and June. So, let's go ahead and get started. Why are these not shuffling right today? It's so weird. Okay, Gemini reading for... I cannot get these guys to shuffle. Reading now for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? So weird. It's like the energy feels almost stagnant. It's not, nothing's moving. Okay, so one of the side energies that already came out is Five of Pentacles. What was that? So it's... <clears throat> there's this feeling of having missed out on an opportunity or something. Can we get four cards, please, for Gemini? For allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. One more. Please. Oh my gosh. Yes? One second. Alright, sorry about that, Gemini. My children needed something. Alright, ready? Let's get one more card up for Gemini, please. They're giving me a whole bunch of stuff about there's another side energy it popped out. One more card, please. We have two fives here, Gemini. Five of Wands, Five of Pentacles. So an energy that feels, first of all, five is a number of change. So we have some big changes coming up for you, Gemini, in regards to your love life. For those of you that are single, you will be in a new relationship really soon. Um, and it's because your energy has shifted into sort of like this goddess type energy um that showed me what's going on with the empress card for those of you that are single i feel like right now though you're not ready you're sort of focused on yourself you're focused on your own enlightenment your own life someone feels like they've had a missed opportunity with you that's what's showing up with the Five of Pentacles. There's Five of Wands too. So the person, whoever it was that missed an opportunity with you, by the way, they're kicking themselves now. But I feel like the reason they sort of missed out on this opportunity with you is because they're fighting. They were fighting themselves over something. They were like trying to decide... Um, what they wanted to do. I don't know why they were fighting themselves, but they were fighting. They were, there was an energy of like fighting emotions. They were trying to figure out if they wanted to approach. And so basically, yeah, they, they missed out obviously. Um, but anyways, whoever they are they're I feel like they're going to come, try to come back around again. And it's so funny because when I was pulling your cards, I kept thinking to myself, Okay, I remember there was this, there's always this energy of like someone fighting off their emotions and sort of 
making their way away from you and then they always make their way back and it's been like this you know all of last year and it looks like all of this year and I'm sure that you're irritated and annoyed by this Gemini and yet they keep the same person's energy keeps reappearing in your reading so you know this person needs to get their shit together basically because I know you're about sick of this shit I would be if I were you <laughs> Um, but it just keeps coming up and it's the same person's energy. It's, they are consistently reappearing in your energy field. So either you need to start blocking them or start putting up some boundaries. Um, if you don't want this person in your energy field because they keep, keep consistently reappearing in your energy field, just to let you know. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the cards. Um, so these are the two fives that we got, which represents massive change in regards to your love life. Sorry if there's any background noise. Hold on one second. Okay. Sorry about the Gemini. We keep getting interrupted. Okay. So we have five of wands. <clears throat> Both of these cards are fives, so it represents change. This is the card of the conflict. So I don't know if this is conflict within you, but honestly, it feels like it's conflict within your person. Because we have this five of pentacles, this person, and I, I'm saying your person because it doesn't feel like your energy. Geminis don't have wasted opportunities <laughs> because Geminis are on their shit. I have a Gemini best friend and believe me, and they, I mean, I'm not saying they're perfect. They, you know, everyone makes mistakes, but for the most part, the Geminis I know, Geminis are always on their shit. Like they don't, they're not going to like miss an opportunity because for one, they, they have really good intuition, um, Geminis do, and they're always on their shit. So this is not, this does not feel like Gemini's energy. This missed opportunity feels like your person, they didn't go through that door. They had the key to your heart. They didn't go through that door. So, and it was because they were fighting some kind of conflict within themselves. It was a personal thing. It had nothing to do with you, Gemini, okay? But now, the next card that came out after that, these were the side energies that came out. So this energy is heavy around you, okay? This person is going to try to make their way back to you, look at, and very quickly, okay? The Knight of Swords is about realizing something very quickly. So whatever they were fighting within themselves, they realized very quickly that they messed up. I was going to say fucked up, but whatever. They messed up. And so now they're going to try to make their way back. And it's because you're sitting in this energy of this goddess energy. Whatever phase you went through, now this energy that is coming up is the goddess energy. That's the energy that you're in. Seductive, beautiful, earthly. Um, so by earthly, I mean grounded. Um, very sort of this like sensual um Empress is all about sensuality and beauty and grace. So that type of energy. And for you single Geminis, this card came out Ace of Pentacles. So something new could be money. I mean, you know, it, it is Pentacles is money. But we're doing a love reading. Let's be real. So it's definitely a new relationship. Okay. But this card right here, Knight of Wands, this is the card of being, you know, everyone, people call it the Wounded Warrior card. But it's the energy of like, I'm not ready for love. I'm focused on myself. See, she's focused on herself. She's she's chilling there with the wand, which represents right here. This is enlightenment. She's got a light. The, the wand is lit up at the end. So it's showing her personal enlightenment. Um, a person who's basically, you know, tired of fighting off like everyone's opinions about them so they're just sort of like you know what they're not taking any shit um you know it's a person who's basically fought to be where they're where they where they are right now you know sometimes physically too <laughs> okay so let's do four more cards um from the rider weight but yeah so basically um for you single Gemini's when it comes in I feel like you're not really going to be interested. You're basically fighting off every suitor that comes your way. And that's okay. You'll be ready, you know, someday. Just not right now. All right. 
four more cards, please, for Gemini. What else can you tell me for Gemini about their love life, please? Spirit team, thank you. I just want to see if we have any repeating cards. That was the first time I literally picked a card and two came out at once. Like, normally I stop and I'll pull one card. And when I pulled the one card, there was another card behind it, Gemini. That's insane. So they were definitely meant to come out together. Ooh, we, what the frick? Keep going, let's keep going, Spirit. Thank you for allowing me to be the clear channel for source messages. Why is Gemini's energy so fucking crazy today? Dude, like four cards just flew. I am not taking all these spirits, just so you know. But look, one of these was the Empress. So there, there it is again. There it is again, Gemini. You have lots of new things coming in. The Empress represents that queen energy, that Empress energy. You know, all of those things that I was talking to you about earlier. It also represents like really good things coming your way, whether it be love, finances, a bunch of new things. It represents fertility um, and abundance in all ways. So be careful if you are not trying to get pregnant. For you Geminis that are trying to get pregnant, this is a very good sign. You will probably be pregnant by the end of the month or, you know, beginning of June, okay? If you're not trying to get pregnant, then it, you should probably take some precautions against it because the Empress can also represent pregnancy. Okay. Two more, please. Spirit, let's wrap it up. Two of Cups. Wow. So this new relationship that is coming in, you did get the fool. So, okay, one more, please. Hold on. Let me just focus on my intuition before I continue with this. Ooh, this is, this is not a shitty connection. So for those of you that are single, I said I've seen a new relationship coming in. And again, this is reiterated, like repeated again with the fool. This is a new start. Okay. It's also sort of moving forward. So for those of you that are like this new, I mean this new, for those of you that are messing with this energy of this person that's coming and going and blah, 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 they've definitely made up their mind and they're going to come, they're going to bring their happy asses towards you. But this is the energy of like, you know, don't be naive. Don't sit there and take this person at their word. You're going to need to, you're going to need to analyze their actions and not their words because if they come this time and i i see that they are going to come with some action you know they're this is all a knight of swords is an action card but you're going to have to analyze their actions instead of sitting there and listening to their pretty words this time make sure that their actions are matching their words this time when they come back you don't want to be sitting in this energy of the fool like naive sort of like just believing whatever you know is coming out of this person's mouth. Make sure if you decide to give them another chance, which I don't think that you should because <laughs> they haven't been very, um, they've been like a, 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 a seesaw. They haven't been consistent. So, but that, I mean, it's, I just give advice. It's always up to you to make your own decisions. If you decide to give them another chance, like I said, which I don't think you should, be careful not to be naive and be that fool. Use your head, okay? That's all I'm going to say, Gemini. But this is also the energy of a new start. So we have two cards of a new start. So for those Geminis that are single, you know, this is not a shitty connection. Look at this. We got two of cups. Okay. And then we got nine of cups. So this is wish fulfillment. Everything you could ever desired being fulfilled with this person. Okay. Um, and the two of cups, you know, so this is also... For you Geminis that are dealing with this energy of this person that keeps coming in and out of your life, this, this is a good connection. You know, the Two of Cups, it's saying, you know, this is if, you know, this person would get their shit together and make up their minds and decide to give you their all. This is the connection energy. It's Two of Cups and it's Nine of Cups. So it's, it's they do have the energy of them being your wish fulfillment. Everything that you want in a partner, okay? So... 
Um, the card that came out too also with the Fool. Remember I said I went to pull one card and it was the Fool and there was another card hiding behind it. So the energy behind that Fool energy is this. Four of Swords, which is an energy of resting, meditating, using, your, most importantly, using your intuition. So when this person comes in, for you Geminis who are sort of in, not, I, I was going to say a commitment, but you're not really in a commitment, but this energy of um, sort of being involved with this person that's going in and out of your life, this, this motherfucker right here. Okay, <laughs> so I'm not biased at all. Anyways, <laughs> I am a little. So, you know, Spirit is saying, use your intuition. Rest, meditate, take as much time as you need. Most importantly, two, make up your mind. The answer is inside of you. Your intuition is going to let you know what you need to know before you make a decision. You know, because this motherfucker right here is seeing you and it, it's not about gender but this is a um, um, masculine energy. They see you in your divine um, feminine energy and they don't want to come up on the quick. And it's up to you, Gemini, to sit in this energy of making up your minds. You know, so it's all up to you at the end of the day. Okay, so that's where you're at for um, this energy cycle. I'm going to pull some cards to give you um, an idea if you have any shadows right now that we need to deal with, Gemini. And then we're going to do the who cards for you to, you know, for your single Geminis, you can keep an eye on these character traits. And for those of you who are um, sort of involved or in an entanglement, then the who deck will, will give you an idea of who it is we're, you know, fucking with here or whatever. So I'll do two, two different spreads for those. Let's do the shadows for Gemini, please, right now. Um, please, Spirit. And we'll do the Who deck, and then we're going to conclude with your Spirit message with the Angels and Ancestors Oracle. So let's keep it moving, please, Spirit. <clears throat> All right. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. And let's wrap it up, please. Um, any shadows for Gemini? Is that my water? I don't know Shadows for Gemini. Any shadows for Gemini? If you have shadows, this deck will show them. If you don't, then none will come out. So I'm going to do three. We got dream come true. I told you it again. This, so this is not a shadow. Hold on one second. If you hear birds chirping in my windows open because I have an air conditioner in there. Thought I heard the kids fighting. Okay, so this is a dream come true. It, this is number 22. See, if you can see this, this is a card of dream come true. It's a divine masculine. They got flowers. She, there's a woman sitting on a bench. She's daydreaming of a, of a divine masculine, bringing her flowers because this is her perfect ideal in her head. She's daydreaming about a guy that does that. <clears throat> and here he comes and he's literally doing exactly what she's imagining and fantasizing about in her head so like i said i pulled the nine of cups which is the wish fulfillment this person being everything that you want them to be and this is the card of that in this deck <laughs> so mm, there's your confirmation gemini all right um and we did get a shadow card so let me go ahead and pull one more for you and then we'll talk about this shadow card all right we got two shadow cards this card also has a sun in it, so I wanted to just let you know that that represents, like, you know, super duper joy and happiness because the sun. Okay, so we have a shadow card, number 46, independence. And then we have this shadow card, 65, defensiveness. This is number 10, and this is number 11, ironically, right? If you add them up. Okay, so independence is about sort of making yourself. Oh, one second. My goodness, I swear to God, it is so impossible to work with three children in the house. And their dad is working 12 hours today. It's, it's so, so irritating. I'm sorry, Gemini. It's just, I'm not with their dad and we co-parents. And, you know, it's one of those things where like, he, 
I'm not even trying to complain, but you know, he doesn't let me know when he's working 12 hour days and he'll just like shoot me out a text the day of and expect me to just cancel all of my plans or whatever it is that I'm doing. And he treats me like a babysitter. And so it's irritating because I'm trying to work and it's like, so then, you know, I'm expected to put my life on hold and everything because he can't, um, split up equal parenting time. And so, and we live together. So it's like to shoot me out a text the day of and say, Oh, by the way, I'm working late. Um, I'm working 12 hours today and, and to just like throw that on me and knowing that, you know, my family all lives two hours away. We don't have a nanny or a babysitter. So to not even ask if I have plans and to just throw it on me like that, it's so annoying. And especially when I'm trying to work and stuff like this. And then it's like constant interruptions because, you know, they're kids and they need things. And so I have to be available to them. But then that's not fair to you guys. And also to me, which is my self-care and my self-work, which is what I'm doing right now. So it's really irritating and I'm trying not to be annoyed, but I'm just letting the universe know like there has to be something, something has to give, something has to give. Like, um, I'm not going to continue to allow myself to be treated like that by him. So, and it's irritating. And that's one of the reasons that we're not together. This is one of the reasons why I decided <laughs> to call my marriage quits and all that because of little things like this. It's like not showing any understanding for anyone else's needs other than his own. So, all right, so the independence thing is about, I don't want to get off track, Gemini. So this independence thing is about um, making yourself an island. So you know that saying that says no man is an island? Well, you are creating an island by isolating yourself. And by doing that, you're sort of telling the universe that you don't really need anyone. And in fact, you know, we all sort of have this basic human need to want um, things from our partner. So by you telling the universe, I'm okay, I don't need help with anything, they're going to go ahead and allow that energy to be in your field. So they're going to give you reasons, they're going to basically show you reasons why you don't, you know, um, you cannot depend on other people. So you're telling the universe, I cannot depend on anyone. I can only depend on myself. And the universe is going to show that and mirror that back to you. So, you know, come time when you want to depend on someone for something um, or you need something from someone, you know, an emotional need or something, and you want it to be fulfilled. Um, and, you know, I'm not saying that you should never you know, fulfill your own emotional needs. Because yes, we, I mean, we all know, like, we're not going to go backwards and be like, okay, well, we know that we fulfill all of our emotional and physical needs and all that stuff. But what I'm trying to say is, you know, we're, as human beings, we all have this need to sometimes lean on someone else when, say, things get rough, okay? Um, just, it's just human nature. So for people in the spiritual community to act like it's not human nature and you don't all of a sudden need a shoulder to cry on or for someone to say, shit, it's going to be all right. I know this is a tough time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm getting off track again. But yes, so when that day comes for you, be careful that you haven't shoved everyone away because basically you've told the universe, I'm okay. I'm okay on this island. I don't need any anyone. Like, I'm doing it alone. And then you put yourself on that island and you, you know, shove the boat away. So how are people going to get there and be there for you when there's no way to get to you, to get to that island? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So be careful of being too independent, basically. Okay. And this card right here is defensiveness. It, it speaks about, um, again, putting up too many walls, defending that heart like it's Fort Knox. Look, I mean, he's got a, a rifle and he's got two cannons and there's no way up this impossible, um, you know, <laughs> there's no way up this impossible wall. It's Fort Knox. It's, you know, the Great Wall of China. Um, it's being overly defensive and not letting anybody in. And if you want this dream come true, you're going to have to let those walls down. 
you're gonna have to let your guard down and yeah, I know all about these shadows believe me because when I did a personal reading for myself I got this exact card and this one too you know us you know a lot of the divine feminines are in this energy right now of we do so much alone we raise our children alone we make our money by ourselves and whatnot so you know we we haven't found a a divine masculine partner yet that we can depend on so we do it all ourselves and therefore we're telling the universe i'm fine i can do this by myself so the universe goes okay fine then do it by yourself and we have to realize that when we do that then that is what the universe is going to say okay you say and you can do it alone then do it alone but we have to be able to say okay you know i can do it alone i'm aware that i can do it alone but i don't want to do it alone anymore and maybe just saying those words, I don't want to do it alone anymore. I want to let somebody in. I want somebody to help me raise my children. I want to be able to depend on someone. And I don't want to always have to be strong. Is powerful enough for the universe to say, you know what? Okay. And maybe send that person your way. That dream come true. Okay. All right. So let's go on to the who deck. And see um, those character traits. We'll do first for those of you that are in an entanglement. <laughs> okay. For those Geminis that are in an entanglement, let's see the cards. For those Geminis that are in an entanglement. And I said entanglement, but that's not what I mean. <laughs> the universe knows. For those Geminis that are seeing someone or has someone in mind. Not completely single, but not completely committed. Let's get three character traits. We have Earth sign. So Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Self-employed. So your person is an entrepreneur. They might run their own business. And we have introvert. So Earth sign, um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus self-employed entrepreneur runs their own business however that works and then we have introvert so they're very shy they might not they might not be shy with you but they definitely do not like large crowds they tend to want to they they tend to be the type of person that would want to stay home more than you know be very social all the time and you know most earth signs do anyways so Makes sense. All right, so now let's do single Geminis. For those Geminis that have no perspectives whatsoever, but I see that two of cups coming in and we've seen that energy of a new relationship coming in. Let's let those Geminis know what character traits to look for, please. All right, let's see. Confident, whoa. And there's a lion on here. So some of you might be de dealing with a Leo. Whoa, what in the fucking hell? Should I take that? It just flew out. I guess so. But I'll, I'm going to get one more. Cause... Okay. So I have four character traits for you. We have confidence. Um, so... Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. There's a lion on there, so some of you could be dealing with an actual Leo. Um, this one flew out. This is skillful. Skillful. So it could be like someone that works with their hands. Maybe they're a carpenter. Maybe they are a mechanic. Um, maybe they're an artist. You know, it's someone that works with their hands. There's liter There literally um, is a guy on here working with his hands. You see? <clears throat> we have this one that came out next. Beauty and fashion. So they're into their appearance. They put a lot of um, work into their appearance. You know, if it's a divine masculine, they would be someone that's very well groomed. They dress nice. They smell good. Ooh, all really good traits. If this would be a divine feminine, it would be the same thing. Um, she would take care of her appearance. She would probably have like manicure, pedicure. You know, maybe she would get her nails done. Um, she would have makeup on, you know. <laughs> Um, hair done, colored, you know what I'm saying? It would just be someone who, um, 
takes pride in their appearance because it says beauty and fashion. So they would, you know, be someone that would put a lot of emphasis, emphasis on their personal appearance, which there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's all about self-love, right? All right. And then we have science and tech. So I don't know what that word fits in. It could, your person could, I don't know, maybe they are a scientist. Um, maybe they're a computer tech. Uh, maybe they're just really good with electronics. Uh, maybe they're an astrologer, you know, um, that's, you know, science. Um, well, it's not, I guess it's not a science, but you know, it's, it has to do with like space and things like that. Uh, I don't know, maybe they're a bioengineer, something like that. You know, there's an astronaut in here. So that's why I said maybe they're, um, an astrologer because it's, the energy feels very spacey. There's, you know, there's um, an astronaut. They're, you know, floating in space away from Earth. So, I don't know. Maybe they just daydream a lot. I don't know, Gemini. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and do your spirit message. You know, the talk part. Like, maybe they're very, like, savvy with technology or something, you know. Maybe they know how to do Instagram stories. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do the last spirit message for Gemini. Where? I didn't even need the booklet. All right. Last spirit message for Gemini. Where is this booklet? <clears throat> All right. Last, last spirit message for Gemini, please. Can we get the last message for Gemini? What's wrong, London? You need something, baby? Hold on one second, Gemini. Okay, so I went ahead and pulled your spirit message card, and it's the fire guardian. And ironically, you know, it's funny because I just said that you might be dealing with the fire sign, um, you single Geminis. All right, um, I don't need to look up this card because I know what it means. So this card is about igniting your passions. Um, it's about following what makes your heart set on fire um i will read it though just because i think it says something about uh sexuality or something too so i wanted to read that part of it connect with your desires the sparks could lead to something beautiful <clears throat> the fire guardian represents i'm losing my voice today the fire guardian represents the angels of fire Fire is an energy that many people are afraid of, but shouldn't be. Burning desires can lead to great expansion. Allow the fire guardian to help you awaken a wilder side of yourself and burn away any fear or shame that stands between you and your peers. You are reminded that passion is powerful and absolutely encouraged by spirit. You are being guided by your angels to connect with the powerful energy of desire at this time if you have recently set an intention to explore your sexual side there it is or become more sexually open the fire of desire can burn away any old setbacks that are preventing you from expressing that part of your nature if you are in a relationship this card can indicate a great spiritual and sexual connection there it is Great spiritual and sexual connection. All right, that is going to conclude my re my reading for you, Gemini. Hold on one second. Um, please check out my Etsy site. It's going to be linked in the description box below. If you hit that little arrow, check out my son's channel. He's the only featured channel on my um, my channel, and I have my own website now, bunnies. So if you want to book a reading with me, that's also in the description box below. Even if you don't want to book a reading with me, at least go to my website and check it out. Um, it's it made it way easier for you to book a reading with me. All you have to do is hit the book button. It's got all of my prices, everything. I made it so much easier. Um, if you want to tip me, that link is also below. And my Patreon's link below. I love you, Gemini.